Our family is myself, my husband Andrew, our daughter Anna, our child with Dravet is our son Johnny and he is three years old. Yeah, so Johnny's first seizure, uh, we were having a 4th of July get together. We were having a barbecue and um, uh, I was cooking, I cook for the whole family. It's a big seasonal thing and um, we had a lot of family over, close friends over. So uh, I was in the kitchen. I was uh, finishing up preparing food and my mom was watching him he was at the time uh, in his bouncer in his uh, you know little uh, bouncer watching television um, and my mom called me and she said you know he's he's not quite right you know like his his he's a little you know limp his legs are limp he's just seems out of it and, um, you know, I have a, a medical background and I go, oh, you know, like I think of adult medicine. And I said, oh, maybe he sat on something long. Maybe, he, you know, he lost sensation or something. I remember picking up Johnny and he was like a rag doll. He was limp. And we we're looking at her like, what is going on? This is not right. And another one of them was like, you have to just take him to the ER. Like something isn't right. So even though it's probably not the best thing to do, we threw him in the car seat and took him to the ER. And I remember like being in the back of the car seat driving, uh, with Andrew was driving, thinking like, oh my God, I hope he's okay. Just don't let him die. Like I didn't know what was going on. And it's, it's it, I, I thought it was maybe a seizure, but it was just something scary is happening. I didn't even put that into my head at that point. And then we got to the ER and it's where I work. So the staff know me, they saw me coming in with my son, they looked at me and I said, please, I, my baby is even seizing, can you help us? So they took us right in, we put him on a stretcher, they went to stick him for an IV and all of a sudden I started crying, which was like the most beautiful sound in that moment. Um, and that was our first seizure. So Johnny now, he started school in September, which has been a definite adjustment for all of us because we went from being very insulated, especially with the recent pandemic, to now he's out of the house five days a week. But he seems to love it. When I drop him off in the morning, he is jumping out of my arms to go into that school building. And he's, he, loves school. he loves school. He loves school. Um, so that has been really great. He definitely enjoys school. Since he was little, um, he's a big fan of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is on quite a bit, and he really enjoys it. And he also seems to now like, he likes his little figurines. He likes to take little things and kind of puts around with them. Loves going up and down the stairs. It's like he his, likes his uh, favorite thing. theme songs to uh, child cartoons. Like he might not enjoy the whole show, but he loves a good oh, intro. He does. Good intro song, you know, so. And he loves when you sing to him too. Yeah. Yeah, he loves he loves music. You you could see when we put a song on for him, he you know just like all music, but if it's something that he likes, he really gets engaged. You can see him kind of stop and smile and listen to it. It's weird to say he's nonverbal because he makes a lot of noise. <laughs> he doesn't stop making noise, but we don't have words, and he's been kind of I feel in a he's we see new sounds emerge every now and then, but we don't see a lot of progress into words. I'm pretty sure we have Mama pretty. Purposefully, would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but that you know, that's about it. I think things are starting are, do mean things. We hear repeated, but we can't figure that out. So that is a struggle. Um, I think general endurance for him. Most three-year-olds, they're like, go, 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 and he definitely, I see, gets tired more easily. He likes to relax. <laughs> he likes to sit. Uh, he doesn't want to walk long distances. We'll take him out of his stroller, he'll walk a little bit, and then he'll walk back to his stroller and point that he wants to go back in it. So I feel that's some of the, the struggles he has. And of course, um, unfortunately, since we've, we had a really good stretch of seizure freedom, like 11 months, which is, was amazing, um, but since school has started, uh, we have unfortunately seen quite an uptick in activity. So I would say that's a, a struggle for him. I also think too, as uh, far as uh the, you know, he has been progressing with um, movement, but yes. just the fluid nature of movement, like we have a niece that's gonna be two, and you could see, even though he's older, you could see how the motion isn't quite fluid and, and uh, as smooth as it can right. be. I find, um, I, I find personally, like I struggle with different things at different moments. Right now, I'm struggling with the fact that he's having increased seizure activity, and that's really my, 
you know, what keeps me up at night or what, you know, makes me cry at times or be upset. Other times it's more the development. I struggle with the fact that he's, you know, not a typical three-year-old. And it's not that I, he's, I, I love my son. He is amazing and he amazes me every day with what he goes through and what he's able to do. But, you know, with Gervais, you start off with a child who is, he was developing normally. He was doing everything he was supposed to do and he was on track. And even though it's been two years that we we know that things are different for him, it's still sometimes you feel why is he not where the average kid would be? And the fear for me with Dreve is, will he get there or not? So that's, those are my struggles. So it, it really, for me, those are the two things I feel I go back and forth with and, and balancing just life, <laughs> life in general. Um, I went part-time after the seizures started because working full-time with him was too much. Uh, we are very blessed. We have great family support. My in-laws and my mother, I mean, my in-laws are retired, so they are our primary go-to. My mom still works full-time, but she is a great help as well. Finding the balance and they help us. But, you know, sometimes it's it's scary to watch the, a kid with that could seize or have issues. So I feel that that could yeah. be a struggle, you know, for us to find things to do. But we're lucky. We have a good team, you know, but Absolutely. not perfect.